Integration Objects is pleased to demonstrate how you can install and use the OPC Easy Archiver product. This is the main user interface of the OPC Easy Archiver. To begin, add a connection to an OPC DA server by clicking the Connect button available in the OPC Server menu. You can also right-click on the OPC DA server's node and select Connect to OPC DA server. In this window, you can select the server you want to connect to. Here, you can manually enter the OPC server name and the IP address. This parameter allows you to configure a time during which the OPC Easy Archiver will wait for the server startup. Click Connect to confirm your configuration. Right-click on the added OPC server and select Add Group. Here, you can enter the group name and click Apply. Now let's add the items. In this dialog, browse the server address space. Drag and drop the item you want to add. You can also select a tag or a list of tags, right-click on them and click Add. Then, click Apply. The items will be added under the OPC group. In this group, we added red-only tags. We will add another group that contains static tags with red write access. Now let's add our DA Archiver. Right-click on the DA Archiver's node available in the Archivers tab and select Add New DA Archiver. The Add New DA Archiver wizard is prompted. First, we need to name our archiver and select the database type. In this demo, we will use a SQL Server database to archive our OPC data. You may click the Refresh button to browse the SQL Server instances available on the network or manually enter your SQL Server instance name. Select the Authentication mode. Click the Refresh button to get the available databases and select the desired database. Then, click Next. In this step, we need to configure the tables where the OPC data will be stored. You can either create new tables or select existing ones. The history table is used to store all of the received data values, and the update table is used to store only the last received values of the OPC tags. For the new table option, select the table name and click the Select Column button to add columns to your table. Click Next. Here you need to select the OPC group to be assigned to your archiver. You can assign multiple groups to one archiver. Here, we are choosing one group. Click Next. Verify your configuration and then Finish. To start the archiver, right-click on it and choose Start Archiver. A message in the log menu will inform you of the progress. Now we will check the archive data in the database. As you can see, data are successfully being stored in the history table. In this demo video, we briefly demonstrated the main features of the OPC Easy Archiver. Integration Objects OPC Easy Archiver guarantees safe data archiving without any configuration difficulties. Thank you for watching this demo video. If you need any further information, please contact us at customer service at integrationobjects.com.